In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Today we celebrate the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that loving heart that suffered so much in the cause of salvation of the world, that was intertwined with her Blessed Son. It's always celebrated, of course, just after the Feast of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, the two hearts intertwined in loving accord. We ask, therefore, with confidence uh, that Mary helps us in our needs. We know that today our blessed Lord is as closely connected as he was as the child of Mary. We call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, your mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord, have mercy. You're the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. You're the Word made flesh, the splendour of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who prepared a fit dwelling place for the Holy Spirit in the heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary, graciously grant that through her intercession we may be a worthy temple of your glory through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Their race will be famous throughout the nations, their descendants throughout the peoples, all who see them will admit that they are a race with whom the Lord has blessed. I exult for joy in the Lord. My spirit, my soul rejoices in my God, for he has clothed me in the garments of salvation. He's wrapped me in the cloak of integrity, like a bridegroom wearing his wreath, like a bride adorned in her jewels. For as the earth makes fresh things grow, as a garden makes seeds spring up, so will the Lord make both integrity and praise spring up in the sight of the nations. The Word of the Lord. The response. My heart exults in the Lord my Saviour. My heart exults in the Lord my Saviour. My heart exults in the Lord. I find my strength in my God. My mouth laughs at my enemies as I rejoice in your saving help. My heart exults in the Lord my Saviour. The bows of the mighty are broken, but the weak are clothed with strength. Those with plenty must labour for bread, but the hungry need work no more. The childless wife has children now, but the fruitful wife bears no more. It is the Lord who gives the life and death. He brings men back and to the grave and back. It is the Lord who gives poverty and riches. He brings men low and raises them on high. My heart exults in the Lord my Saviour. He lifts up the lowly from the dust. From the dung heap he raises the poor to set them in the company of princes to give them a glorious throne. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Blessed is the Virgin Mary who treasured the Word of God and pondered it in her heart. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Every year the parents of Jesus used to go to Jerusalem for the feast of the Passover. When he was 12 years old, they went up for the feast as usual. 
When they were on their way home after the feast, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem without his parents knowing it. They assumed he was with the caravan, and it was only after a day's journey that they went to look for him among their relations and acquaintances. When they failed to find him, they went back to Jerusalem, looking for him everywhere. Three days later, they found, found him in the temple, sitting among the doctors, listening to them and asking them questions. And all those who heard him were astounded at his intelligence and his replies. They were overcome when they saw him, and his mother said to him, My child, why have you done this to us? See how worried your father and I have been looking for you. Why were you looking for me? He replied. Did you not know that I must be busy with my father's affairs? But they did not understand what he meant. He then went back down with them and came to Nazareth and lived under their authority. His mother stored up all these things in her heart. The Gospel of the Lord. The Holy Spirit prepared the Immaculate Heart of Mary because she was to bear the Saviour, but not only that, she was to be the instructor with St. Joseph of the boy Jesus, the Saviour. She was to have care of him, to bring him up in <clears throat> right relationship so that he would gradually and more deeply understand that St. Joseph was his foster father, but he was the child of God in heaven, my father. It was Mary's truthful, pure and loving faith, and that of St. Joseph, that introduced him to the father, that brought him there so that he could develop that relationship. We remember how much we owe to Mary, Mother of the Saviour. So we pray that Mary will be properly and rightly honoured for her part in the salvation of the world. Lord, hear us. Mary's heart, however immaculate, was open in love to be pierced. And we remember that it was prophesied that at the death of our Lord, her heart was to be pierced as well. So we pray for, in thankfulness to Our Lady, that she undertook this great work as a mother but also pray for all those who are in distress at the moment and commend them to Our Lady's care. Lord, hear us. Dear Lord, we thank you for the care of your Blessed Mother, whose Immaculate Heart nurtured you, brought you up. We thank you for Mary, you who live and reign for ever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, to become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, 
and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, O Lord, upon the prayers and offerings of your faithful, presented in commemoration of Blessed Mary, the Mother of God, that they may be pleasing to you and may confer on us your help and forgiveness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, and to praise, bless and glorify your name in veneration of the Blessed Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you, heaven and the virtues of heaven, and the blessed seraphim, worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. A mere history of faith, Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Paul our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome, then, into the light of your face, 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honour be yours for ever and ever. Amen. With the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I invite you to make a spiritual communion the prayer for a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you are already there, I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Having been made partakers of eternal redemption, we pray, O Lord, that we who commemorate the mother of your Son may glory in the fullness of your grace and experience its continued increase for our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. This weekend at Milnthorpe, uh, we take part after the Mass, it won't be broadcasted, in a short um, adoration. We do our bit for the solemn exposition that is taken by each parish on each weekend of the year. So we remember that God is honoured constantly in our churches, that they are places where God lives sacramentally in the Eucharist, the houses of God. Listening to the news today, I don't think our church is going to be opened uh, uh, for another month so that people may freely enter and come in to their home as the people of God and to be in the presence of the Lord, which is so important to us. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. <laughs>